It's a Ghost Rider. I'm back out here on Red Scorpion. Today is going to turn out to be a special day. And just when I decided to come out here and do a vlog and share some tales with you after a beautiful day at the beach, now some rain clouds dropping little water droplets on me. But anyway, I'm here. And this is going to be Ghost Rider story time. Today I'm going to relate to you two different tales. One is a tale of love, a definite tale of love, and the other tale may just be a tale of hate. But I'll let you be the judge in determining what kind of emotion surrounds the details of that second tale. First off though, I'm going to start talking to you about a tale of love. It involves a search. You know, back in the spring of uh, 2014, Ghost Rider was feeling kind of lonesome. And he decided to go on a hunt, to go on a search for a special love in his life. You know, back in 2009, Ghost Rider had a heartbreak. He and his love at that time broke up. It was a very uh, emotional breakup. And neither one of us wanted to be apart from each other, but circumstances came up that we just had to part ways. So from that time, in 2019, so 2014, Ghost Rider was mainly surviving on the memory of that true love that he lost back in 2009. And the memory of that love spoke to Ghost Rider's heart and said, you know, go out there, find you another love. It didn't work out between the two of us, but I know you still have love in your heart, Ghost Rider, so you should start looking for it. And so I did, recognizing that going through life alone just was not a good thing for the Ghost Rider. So I went looking and I found that love. Unfortunately, that love was <laughs> about 1,300 miles away. And Ghost Rider just wasn't in for a long distance relationship. He had to be in a relationship where they could be in contact with each other. They could touch each other, feel each other, be around each other, explore with each other. So, on March 14, 2014, Ghost Rider had to go on a journey to meet up with that new love and begin their life together. And a, a great part in that 
search and that move to go and meet up with his new love. Ghost Rider was assisted by none other than Lady Ghost. Yep. She took me to the airport in Philadelphia where I caught the red eye to Orlando, Florida to meet with my new love. Yeah, well, my new love would not be up until about, I think it was nine o'clock in the morning. I landed in Orlando at about, hmm, I believe it was three in the morning. And this was after not, not having slept the whole day of the 14th. And now we're into the 15th of March. So I slept in the airport till it was time to get me an Uber and go to meet my new love. But those short time, those short hours of sleep were really restless. Because yeah, I was a bit excited, you know. I did see pictures of my new love and uh, I was, I was pretty pleased. <laughs> yeah, I even showed her the lady ghost and uh, she approved. So, daybreak came. The airport started to come alive again. With me not getting much sleep on some of those airport chairs. Walk around, get me a cup of coffee. You know, first, I went and you know freshened up a bit. Got me a cup of coffee. Try to look my best to be my new love. Daylight came. I don't believe Ubers were around, so yeah, I just, I just called me a cab and uh, came and picked me up there at the airport, and we were off. I got to where my new love was and uh, everything was quiet. No one was stirring. No one was around that I could talk to to, you know, let them know I was there to meet her. So I had to wait. And that anticipation was just killing me. And finally, someone drove up to the front of the building asked what I was there for. I said, well, I'm here to meet a girl. You know, I'd seen her pictures and uh, she told me this is where she's living. I'd like to get in and see her. So they said, okay, I believe I can help you out. You just come on in and have a seat and uh, we'll let her know you're here. So I had a seat and here I was waiting. Anticipation was just killing me. You know, flying all night on the red eye, the most uncomfortable sleep in an airport where I really couldn't sleep because I was just waiting for daylight and knowing that she'd be up and ready at nine o'clock is, you know, heard a phone conversation the previous Friday. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to show up too early and get her all flustered or anything and here I am in her building sitting waiting again this time only minutes away in the meantime you know someone who knew her you know, a lady at the, at the building you know she said you know she, she's known her for a little while and uh got to talking about her and she told me you know how she was and what you know little details about her and why she thought that my new girl and I would make a great pair you know I told her you know things I was looking for and were uh, qualities that she had and even some qualities that I really hadn't considered 
she also had them. And uh, there's one thing, you know, just looked a little different from my last love, you know, five years earlier. And uh, I said, you know, I wasn't one to let the external features uh, dictate what, or try to negate what my heart wanted. And you know, my heart did take to her when I when I saw her. So I said, yeah, I believe we can make a good couple. You know, I'm hoping she's all packed up and ready to go because I'm going to take her back to Pennsylvania with me and uh, let her meet Lady Ghost. And so the young lady said, said what? You're married? Uh, I said, well, well yeah, but um, she doesn't mind. I mean, she knows that uh, my heart needs, my heart wants what my heart wants. And uh, she just resigned herself to sharing me with this new girl. Oh, well, she kind of raised her eyebrows and said, well, okay. I guess you know what you're doing. I said, yeah, I sure do. So she said, okay, well, uh, she's got about everything just about packed up. Uh, we're going to send someone up there and uh, see if they can't give her a hand to get out here to meet you. And uh, we just you know, like you to let us know how things work out for the both of you. And I said, well, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. So after that little chit chat, time flew by and I heard my girl was in the front of the building, all packed up and ready to go. I said, wow, <laughs> well, let's not waste any time. I got to get out there and see her. I might not have had any sleep, but just the thought of meeting my new girl and knowing we're going to be going home together. <laughs> it's really got me energized. So, well, the rest of the story, I, I got I to gotta get off and uh, I got to stop right here because, uh, you know, I get a little emotional reliving this event. And I just uh, might lose my focus while I'm out here riding. Yeah, so I walk pretty much like I'm walking now, out to the front of the building. Got out the front door, there's nothing in front there. And, you know, they told me turn to your left, look to your left, so I turned around, and there she was, my new girl. <laughs> Red Scorpion. Well, who do y'all think I was talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about Red Scorpion, I'm pretty sure y'all knew that. Of course, she didn't look anything like she looks right now, but you know, I did some tinkering on her. Little plastic surgery here and there, a little nip, little tuck. And she is what you see now. And here we are 38,821 miles later. And we're about to pass a marker in the road. We look down here at the odometer, and I don't know if you can make it out, but it says 99,992 miles. So I'd like to take you all along with me as we go the next mile and trip it over to that 100,000. Yep, me and my new girl, we have crossed that mile marker that time in our relationship, 100,000 miles. Yeah, I got her. She had a few miles on her, but she's been good. Rode her out of Orlando, through Atlanta, back up to Pennsylvania. March 15, 2014. We've been together ever since. 
And now, you, I don't know if you can keep your eye on the odometer there. We're gonna trip this baby over to that 100,000 and have a celebration. And maybe we can go for 100,000 more. She might be at 100,000, but she sure isn't done. Many more miles to go. She still purrs like a kitten. I still take good care of her and treat her like royalty. So we're back around here in her spot, right over there. You see in the intro to my video, we're in Fort Pierce, Florida. But we're not at 100,000 yet, so we're going to go down here, spin around by the fishing pier, and come back up. And I believe she should trip over by then. Yeah, this is more crowded than I've seen it. All the times I've come over here, a lot of motorcycles out here, which I hadn't noticed before. Well, we're not going to get her dirty. Somebody's pouring water out here. I'm not going to get any splash on her and her 100,000 celebration, 100,000 mile celebration. As I remember, there wasn't supposed to be any rain at all today, but these sure look like some rain clouds up there. But it's not going to dampen our celebration. Yeah, we've had some trials and tribulations along the way. Little corrective actions I've had to take on her major surgery at one point but she came back stronger than ever and now she's all about to get up and go with a fast or cruising she's my girl and we're just hoping that she'll trip over to the hundred thousand as soon as we get back to her spot up here and set her up and we can there we go hundred thousand miles look at that and right down here at the place I'm just trying to make sure that you can see that down there and listen to her purr she's one happy gal yep and Ghost Rider is happy too So we're going to pull over up here. And let her do her victory tour. Right in her spot. And here she is. We can't get her to do some of her light work for you for a hundred thousand miles. And there she is, Red Scorpion, in all her splendor. Just as beautiful as ever. Well, well, thank you for coming along this celebration tale as we feature the 100,000 mile mark for Red Scorpion. We're going to shut this part down and we come back in a little bit to talk about tale two. Right now, this is the love. This is the love that we're talking about.
38,822 miles later, five years in about four months, five years and a month since we've been together and we're loving it. Well, thank you for celebrating with us, YouTube. We hope you stick around for more. We'll see you. Yeah.